Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. How you doing? This, hey, out here in 2250 Center Ultra Cab, Stevie Crab. This is my favorite boat. It's like a sea dew on steroids. It goes anywhere out in the ocean, tuna fishing, 55 miles out. You want a safe boat, virtually unsinkable, very stable, has trim tabs, really don't need it. Anyway, this thing's loaded. You got your Minnacota right there, self deploy with uh, spot lock that's really nice and i'll show you that in a minute you got your anchor up front there that works you need a anchor it's got lifting eyes must be going out of port orford cup holders i got your uh, remote for your uh, bow mount 6cy gauge does everything hours maintenance tack trim fuel economy you got your ns uh 12 uh evo 3s and your 40 with AIS on your VHF, real good radio. Maxwell, your trim tabs, your key switches right here, your mics here. Uh, your batteries are up underneath here. These fold down the cushion. Uh, that's something I didn't see. I better ask on that. Because you should have a slider cushion. Uh, let me see here. No, see it up there. I see the porta pot here. Here's how you plug in right there for your battery charger. And then don't forget, there's a right there is your drain plug that goes clean to the bottom of the boat. So make sure you plug that or you'll have water coming in here. Not that you'll sink, but you probably don't want to do that. And there's your cushion that goes up to the center that I was looking for. These flip up, gives you more room in the boat. Handrails, two speakers, handrail, cup holders, dual wipers with washers. I'll show you that. Light comes on red night. These are like soft touch, white. And I'll steer this over here. We got sliding rod holders right here, steps coming up here. And then while I'm in here, I'll click on these lights. Uh, let me see, trim, uh, you don't have that cockpit anchor, nav, uh, deck force, I'll turn that on, bait tank, build pump, that's auto, and that's a bypass. Eight persons, 1320, 300 horsepower max. This is a beautiful, beautiful 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 pack see how that build pumps coming on you don't need that because if it gets a little bit of water in it it'll just keep running you can shut that off at least backdrop you got your dual batteries in there your primer valves right there for the main that's your primer for the kicker there's an arrow make sure the kicker the arrow's flat or up when you do it uh wars down notice it ain't pumping like, rah, 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 like that now if you hear uh, uh, when this ain't working, when you don't push the trigger, uh, check for a leak. Okay, flip up seats there. You got a bait tank back up into here. You got your kicker motor. That runs awesome. Phil, I put in about 45 gallons of non-ethanol. I just do that just because uh, if I didn't, then some, someone comes, Why didn't you put non-ethanol? I don't want to pump it out. And then you, that's how you get to your bolt hole, that inspection cap. Only put that on a hand tight. Stainless steel, you got three of those rod holders. Your deck light, anchor light, your RS35. Then you got lights. I'll turn those on here in a second. That should be these right. Anchor lights, nav lights, anchor light. We had that nav light, we had that deck horse we can turn off. Transom lights we don't need. Lights. Aha! That's that light and lights. Yeah, them nice pretty blue lights. Right there. Ooh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Okay. Then there's quite a talk about a talk about about this boat actually. Okay, kicker motor. I'll watch the time I have to do three videos. This here. Uh, when you're started up, make sure you pump the primer bulb. Maybe lift up on this red lever. Give that maybe four pumps. Bring it back. Lift this lever right here up to where you feel it stop. Then just give it a little beyond that. And then you push in on the key like this. Push and turn to start it. If it acts like it's going to die, push in again. Until you hear the idle pick up, then... Don't push a choke, just bring this lever down a hair, let the idle drop, it'll come up again, drop it down, and then 
you do that, you should be able to put it in gear and go. Now once I fire it up, you should be able to just turn it on. So anyway, trim the motor down, you can hear it. There, it goes car rump. So turn the key. She's going. And when it, that's, it'll go up to about four no matter what. Uh, probably up to seven, eight, depending on current. That's your power, just hit that to turn this unit on. So I'll just slowly turn, this is your VHF. These are all linked here, NEMA 2000. This is that good Apollo uh, Fusion. And then you hit X. When you hear that beep, 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 and you can go to the weather, you can just go like that, or go back up. Now, if you see these, this line right here, that's for volume, when you twist this. Now, say I wanna do the squelch, push in, it highlights that. I normally leave it light here and then I push it back so it's on the volume button right here and if I want to see AIS I can just pop it up here and then I hit a set there and that will tell you the boats that are there and I turn off the alarm so it doesn't go beep 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 beep, beep. you know I got it set for about a mile and about five minutes out and if you ever wanted to hook up a hailer horn you can you have the intercom system right there and you want to scan you just hit scan now the radio just kick on up there then you want to start trip when you hit that okay when you start trip what that does is it will actually go into here and you can go into uh, trip intel and that will tell you uh, 8.2 trip hours trip max 4.2 so this is going to keep track of what I did now since I turned that key on and it'll tell you your tie table right here as well you can go back to history today I went 3.6 miles earlier, and it'll tell you all about it. So now you can read it, but you can still see your GPS to see where you're going. It'll show you the map and uh, duration, 366. How you hit 48 miles an hour. So that's pretty good. You get out of that. You go back to information. You get out of that. And then I got this now. I want to set this halo. This has got what they call a dual range. Then you can go into here, go into radar. Then you can hit in here. And then transmit. This one is on A. So transmit. That's AIS. That's showing those ships back there. In blue. If you see a blue little speck, that's typically a bird. Yeah, there he was. He just flew by. Okay. And this is all your AIS right here whether it's stop going how fast where it's going to that's all your and then your vrm vlm uh then i put speed over ground depth course over ground there's your actual tide table right here port of Q's bay and if you want to tap that automatic nearest tide station okay and this here is if you're off steer if you're running uh, like a, a route or a waypoint water temp latitude and longitude you know, i want to control my radio I can hit here, I can now he's charged. I can go up, Stewart, go back, if I want to like change channels, I can just hit this, or I can go back, I can set my uh, zones, if I want to shut it off, I just have to go like this, shut it off, get rid of the tile, just hit this one right here, then you go back in here, now I, have, I went through and did a lot of combos here for you, now say I'm out here dinking around, you know, and I really don't want to watch where I'm going. I can put a guard zone on my radar if I wanted to. You can go into here and go into here and you can hit guard zones and you can set your guard zone all the way around you like a mile out, half mile out. So if you were going to do what I'm going to do here, I can just tap here and get rid of that. Okay, so say I'm here. Now you can run up to about maybe five miles an hour and still use that bow mount, but I'm just going to leave this in gear just so I have some control. This is the kicker motor right here. So then I reach up here, and then you hit this button right here. And that turns it on, and it says OK. So this is this little round button, but, and it says Deploy. Now what you want to do is this little round button, you want to hit twice. See how it's deploying? That's important. This is on. This is Deploy, two watts. And I already set your trim angle, so it doesn't go down and hit. Uh, the top of that on your rail so it's gonna stop right there you see so then to get it going you just push the propeller button you'll see it spinning now I got it set on 10 
your speed you can adjust now say I want to steer it right over here that's just this one here and here and your speed oh, I want to set right there so right there now I just want to navigate there just hit this end button and you'll see end right there it's gonna hold that course now if I want to adjust the speed I can just go like this see how it went to nine and a half so now say if I'm on this I may want to go over to this one here and that gives me my GPS tell me I'm almost getting in the channel and there's my depth finder tells me depth course over ground latitude longitude all that stuff horn works okay so here we're just navigating along say I wanted to uh, set that speed at this speed right here then I just hit this button right here and then that right down there you're gonna speak so it's gonna keep it at about 2.3 miles an hour if I want to get out of that speed I just hit that and you'll see that bottom one dropping off now say I'm out here dinking around and I don't want to be floating and paying attention where in the heck I'm going I can hit spot lock that's this anchor so I'm gonna hit it see how this anchor came up see that now that's just gonna hold me in this spot right here so now I can show you the rest of the boat well that's doing its thing okay you got your speakers up there I already showed you the lights and your tide graph here is really cool and then just for the fun of it well we're here anything that's orange pertains to the GPS if I go over here and this is orange if I hit this menu button that pertains to the sounder so I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna make a, oh, a course like right there and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go go to go to cursor okay that's my nav line I'm just gonna leave that there okay now so we got our lights on anchor lights all that stuff work I show you that okay so then you got your port wiper starboard wiper and you got washers see that ha <laughs> that's how cool is that that's like your car knock that off deck wash I already showed you that trim tabs work I'll show you that here in a second radio work it's scan radio you just go here and it just takes you to the weather and then if you want to scan you go here and stop you go there okay so then stop now say I want to turn that AIS back on again then I just hold this menu button right here and where it says scan then twist this down to alarms then you just push this middle button in go to CPA alarms hit that on CPA alert hit that on so now them things if I come within a mile of that it'll go beep 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 beep, beep and then hex X to get it out X to get out again and then just hit scan if you get rid of that just hit that and then get that rid of that one okay so course over ground right here we got a heading line we really don't need that so I want to change this function right okay so I'm gonna hit this and that's my steer right there I want to edit I'm gonna to go to course over ground I want to change that to heading 284 there you go that's what I want tells you your time up here foot of water right here see how it's anchor just keeping me in one spot isn't that great okay so we got that I think I showed you all that stuff there I showed you your bow mount now say you wanted to keep this thing in a perfect line okay so I'm gonna grab this again because we're running that spin this around I'm gonna get that off of anchor lock so I'm gonna push this button right here okay then I'm gonna see where it's gonna take me and I'm gonna speed it up okay so we got the kicker on now I'm gonna shut that off and we're just running off of that bow mount so you got to hit this on so that motor turns and now I'm gonna steer it and I'm gonna try to get on that see at my line over there that's my navigation line so say I can I know I'm gonna run aground I just made a route so I'm gonna try to get this thing right right there and then I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna hit nav that's gonna hold me instead of going across line I'm following this nav line here which then I can go zoom out zoom in on that to see where that's gonna take me 
Ooh, that's gonna take me on ground up there, isn't it? I'm just gonna put this, this is where I wanna end up, right over here. So I'm gonna bypass and go this way. So this is gonna keep me going basically in the channel, then I can turn it later with this. But you know, that's just an example. Like say if I wanted to cancel that out, I could cancel. Uh, did it navigation, cancel out. Now say I just wanna go here, just say, okay? Then I hit this one, I hit go to, then I go, go to cursor. Now this is how you can kind of keep this bow mount on your course. So I'm off a little bit, so I'm going to steer this thing over just a hair to where that heading line ends up on that red line. And that's how I'm going to tell you how good this thing can to take this wind. Now it's almost on, almost on. Okay, so it's off just a little. It's coming back. Okay, so I'm just going to tap that one tap. Tap it again, tap it again. There you go. It's going to take a second. There you go. Then I'm going to try to get this line as best as I can on that, and you can use that for an autopilot deal too. So you just line it up. Okay, line it up as best you can. Line it up and hit nav. See? Look how that's holding. And then you can go here, and then you can go into nav here. And I'm only three feet off, four feet off of that bow mount. See right here? pretty much tracking it. We're doing 2.2 .2 miles an hour. That ain't bad. Now, if you wanted to keep that thing a little bit better on that line, sometimes if there's a lot of wind, all you have to do is just start up that kicker motor. And just put it in gear. Let's make sure those are straight. Back. See how we got that down to like one, one degree off zero, just by putting that thing into gear 2.8. I could cut back this speed because we're going with the current, so I could cut that back down to about seven. See what it does. 2.5. See. 2.4, I'm holding the line, one, one off, zero. So there you go, that's another trick. Okay, so now you can go at this speed if you had to, like up to about four miles an hour. I like to get it down slower than that. But see, so now I'm gonna turn this thing off, turn the blade off right there, and then it says stow right here. I'm gonna hit that button and leave it alone. See how it's bringing that up? Now I got the kicker motor on now, so what I can do is just kind of keep myself lined up. See how it's dropping it down? And then I can take this motor and just kind of get me just going like this. And now I want to stop all this navigation right here. So then you just go like here and then you hit, uh, oh, you can put your position there too. Just cancel, then it gets rid of that. Then you can go back into your charts then you zoom in and out right here and say if i moved here uh where's my guy at sometimes if you go like this just clear cursor that'll bring you right back these are your ais and you can hit that button it'll tell you all about it then you can call them too if you want so clear cursor brings you back you can zoom in and out with a pretty key and then uh say you want to go into uh echo there's your depth finder a scope uh anything sometimes if you go into high trip you're not going to get your side scan and down scan there's some fish right there see these uh orange green colors right after words that's living so then you can go back up into here you can go to down scan there they are right there that's a higher frequency then you can go to side scan 
you know, like, so right there I really didn't see them right in there but then what you can do is hit this hit your contrast and start messing with your gain a little bit until you can see them again like that and then you can widen out on that narrow in and then I got all sorts of then there's your radar and I'll go through all this stuff with you and then I put up some combos for you like uh, these right here that gives you your GPS radar then if I want radar overlay I just hit this one right here that's highlighted hit this one right here radar open overlay transmit is going to transmit my overlay right there and then i can change my range and stuff right here if i want to so anyway again this is takes a little time and it ain't bad clear uh, spend an hour with me and you'll get it all figured out so then you go back into here again uh instruments if you want to go to that it just kind of gives you your speed, course over ground, depth, and water temp. Then you can go back over here, change your dashboard maybe to uh, navigation or go to basic if you want this, but you got this for that. And we are at 21 minutes. Holy smokes, I better stop.